goes to Ito, my name is Lisa Ross, and I'll be presenting my math parallel. All right, here's my homework complete chart. As you can see here, my homework for number four is at a low of three, and my homework for number five is at low four. Homework for low six is at low four again. Uh, on low seven, I mean on low seven is at low four. And uh, my notebook check is at four. So as you can see here, this one, my homework number four, it was at low here. But as I got throughout the semester, it rose up. And so did my notebook check. Here's my assessment, uh, assessment score chart. For quiz number one, I got three. For the corrections, I uh, managed to correct the, wrong, the ones that I got wrong. So I, I was able to get four. For questions number two, I seem to got um, a lower grade than, uh, than quiz number one, which is that two. But for my corrections, uh, they were at four. For test part one, I was able to get a two. Uh, for, for my corrections, I was able to get three, which is different from the ones I got from quiz one and quiz two, which seems to tell me that I should do more, much better on my test than the quizzes. Um, test part two, I got three, um, uh, 3.5. And my corrections, I got four, so I was able to get the wrong corrections right. The question is, what did I do this semester to improve my grade? Well, uh, I signed up for, office, um, for honors to review uh, the, maths, uh, the math that I try to work on. Uh, I sometimes study at home and at here, and if I need help, I sometimes ask the teacher or anybody else if they can help me on anything else, like assignments. Alright, my sense of skills are number two, learning target 2.1 and 2.2. My misunderstanding was classifying size and angles and in serial theorem. The quiz that I chose was quiz number one, learning target 2.1 through 2.3, congruent triangles. I guess, as you can see here, the question was, what is the best classification of this triangle by its angles and size? Uh, it seems I got this question wrong. I put it as a isosceles right triangle because it has uh, three congruent sides and angles. Uh, my answer was wrong. It wasn't a right triangle. And for my test, it's essential skill number two, test part, um, test one, part one, triangles. The question was, and I'm sorry, you can't see this well, classify each triangle by its size, just by your work. This was the diagram. And since I got this um, question right, it was uh, classified DB7, I mean DBC. It was, the right question that I put down was the equal the three congruent angles. So it seems that in the quiz number um, number one, I didn't do very good on that. So I knew in the future that I had to prepare for the test. So as a result, I got this question right. And so I now know um, the learning target 2.1 to the three. All right. For quiz number two, learning target 2.3 through 2.4 congruent triangles. I got this question wrong. Uh, it says to find the length of the leg. It says just by an uh, just by an answer. And it seems that I kind of got this. Uh, I kind of wrote this uh, equation down wrong. So it seems to uh, it says leg equals height um, times the square root of three. So the leg should have been reversed. So it should have said h equals the leg uh, at square root at three. So, and so for my test is essential skill number two, test one, part two, triangles. It says right here, find the value of the variable, just by your answer for this diagram. And, uh, so yeah. well, you can't see this right here, but I got this question right. So I also knew for this quiz that I got this wrong in the future I had to prepare for another test. So I ended up learning master this learning target. Uh, now that's
it's my semester. I would say overall, sorry. I would say overall in my semester, I've done pretty well. I got B uh, right now, and I feel like I, I can raise that up um, in the future for my semester number two. Uh, I now know what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. And, uh, I'll be presenting my chemistry paper presentation. The unit I will be presenting is Unit 2, Atomic Structure and Nuclear Chemistry. My first set skill uh, is 2.3, Atomic Structure. Uh, it says right here, the mass of a calcium atom is due primarily to the mass of its, well, I would say, I would say it would be Protons and electrons. That's a great part. Um, I would say it would be C because it's part of NATO. Uh, well, basically, it is it's part of NATO. Uh, uh, protons. Oh, it's basically made up of protons and neutrons. And because they are in, uh, inside the atom of the nucleus, and the electron is basically on the outer shell. So that's why it comes up with the mass. So basically that's the center of the atom. Mm -hmm. right, next one, <coughs> my next essential skill is on 2.B, experimental basis. <coughs> the question right here says, in Th Thomas' experiment, he knew the particles coming out were negative because they, well, I drew a diagram right here telling why they were negative. It says positive, uh, deflect each other. Um, so if each, if one particle is the same, they will deflect, but if they're different, they'll track. So the correct answer would be because they were the uh, they were attracted towards a positive charge since this was negative. Since this was negative and this was positive. Okay. Alright, next sense skill is 2.7 strong nuclear force. The question is why are enormous amounts of energy required to separate a nucleus into its component protons? Right here at the it says neutrons being filled with protons in the nucleus will kill each other. I would say it would be this answer because right here it says the forces holding the nucleus together are much stronger than the repulsion between the uh, repulsion between the protons. Because it says right here it's much stronger, which means um, it'll keep it together much longer. And as she told us, you know, if it's strong, that means it'll keep it, uh, like I said, keep it much more uh, together. And here's a sense of skill 2.E isotopes. It says during reactive the K, I chose this answer. Changes occur to an atom's nucleus. Because basically what the atom is, is basically a nucleus and basically electrons. But the innermost um, of the atom is the nucleus. So basically that's what's going to be changing the protons and the neutrons. Because that's what basically um, was inside the inner atom. 
it says skill 2.E where you have to decay. Uh, the question is which equation correctly represents the output decay of polynomial 214. I chose C because right here, this is what represents alpha. This is 4 to the H E. And if we add this up, if we add this, this up with the polynomial 214, it will come out to this. Chemistry, I think I would basically get is well, I know I'm not really that mastered um, chemistry yet, so I would say I would get like at least an A minus or so, uh, a little, because I know some of it, but not a lot of it. So in the future, I think I would come to like office hours or uh, come back to get more notes on the stuff that I haven't mastered yet. So you know, um, so I can prepare myself for tests or any quizzes or unit exams. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm.